Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode, we're gonna look at the laser engraver module in the XYZ DaVinci Pro. So XYZ were nice enough to send me the engraving module with the DaVinci Pro when they sent it over for review. I've had it for a while now, but I've been giving it a good thrashing to make sure that it's um, worthy of the review and to show you what it can do and what it can't do. So the laser itself, you can see going here, I'm actually engraving an egg just because I can. So you can see here a few things that I've done with the engraver. You can see this one here, I'll zoom in. Now with this engraving, you can see this is what sets it apart from some of the cheap engravers that you can get from China or other oriental countries. It varies the output. So rather than being just stuck constantly on, the printer will actually vary the output to give you a few different shades. So obviously the lesser power, the less it's going to cut, and then you're going to get a lighter shade for your engraving. So yeah, you can see with this one, this is a good example. Down the bottom it's darker and then it's got about three or four different colours in the gradient and it does that, like I said, by adjusting its output on the fly. So I've used this a fair bit. I've actually engraved toast because if you're using a toaster, that's just so 2016. All toast should be done with a laser. I've done an apple. Pineapple, apple pan. Skull and crossbones. There's no poison in here. Not sus much. Um, my external hard drive enclosures. I've put in my hot end logo on these as like a identification if they ever get pinched. So this is plastic, apple, toast, cardboard. Um, you're not supposed to use it on metal, but it does work. This is on a powdered finished metal. And if you, as long as you go slow enough, you're gonna get a differentiating pattern, which you'll be able to see. And you can probably hear it if I scratch my nail. Yeah, it's etched into the actual powder coat, so you can see the picture. And here is a chopping board which I engraved with Jerry, off Tom and Jerry. So this is actually a cheese board, so a little picture of cheese. So the two main modes in the software are raster and vector. Vector is the one that does the outline, and you can tell it how many passes you want to do over each line to make the etch deeper and deeper. And raster, is the actual engraver so that'll give you your output variation and it'll do full full shapes and give you color gradients one thing that i really wish this printer had was some ventilation inside the chamber when you're printing it can get quite smoky and unless you've got some kind of fan sucking the air out or blowing air in to displace the smoke it could get your lens all sooty on the laser that's not a big deal because you can just clean it, but it's one thing that I don't particularly like. Now, remember you really do need to use this outside because when you are burning, it really stinks. In here at the moment, it smells like a campfire. And there's a combination of burnt toast, burnt plastic, burnt fruit, burnt paper, burnt wood, and uh, combined, it just stinks. Changing the head itself is quite simple. You just put in the menu that you want to change print heads and it will guide you on the screen what you need to do. There's only one clip, you just need to unclip the actual head, slide it out, new one in, tell the printer done, power cycle, and then it's in laser mode or print head mode. Remember, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please uh, support us via Patreon if you're able. It helps us to continue and to get more items in to review. While most things are provided by suppliers and companies, some things we do need to buy, so Patreon helps us with that. We've also got two Facebook groups. We've got the Folgatech Elite Facebook group and we've got 3D Printing Geeks. Now, that's our own group. It's not specifically just for the hot end or anything, but they're there. If, if you want to come in and chat and get some help by some knowledgeable people, you'll be able to get it there. I'm in there as well. Not necessarily the smartest person in the room, but there is quite a lot of smart people in there that will be able to get you going. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video.